Kimberly Leach, are you here? Ted Bundy, the man who abducted you. And later found in Bundy's possession. Raped her, beat her. There was a 12 year old girl that was robbed of her life. Oh, where the body was dumped and it was just right over here. I'm fine. Kimberly Diane Leach was kidnapped, raped, and murdered on February 9th, 1978 by the crazy psychotic serial killer Ted Bundy. I'm here right now at Kimberly Leach's grave, and I gotta tell you, um, it's a sadness, man. This girl, she was a little girl, and she was taken way before her time by a sadistic psychopath serial killer, Ted Bundy. Um, personally, I feel Ted Bundy got off easy being electrocuted. I feel like um, his death deserved he deserved a more punishable, torturous death for all the 30 plus people he murdered. And this little girl was taken way before her time. And it's, it's just a sadness being here. Kimberly Leach, are you here? Kimberly Leach, are you here? Can you tell us if there's any messages for your loved ones? What did Bundy say to you that maybe no one knows? Did Ted Bundy kill you, Kimberly? Kimberly Leach. If you can hear my voice, can you show yourself by that grave? We're using a special camera here that would allow us to see you, honey. Miss Leach, we would like to talk to you about Ted Bundy, the man who abducted you, who hurt you, and ultimately was responsible for your death. Is Kimberly here? So this would have been the school that Kimberly left the day that she died and nearby is where Bundy would have lured her to the car and that would be the last time that um, she, she would be alive. When she came to the car, he grabbed her, put her in, banged her head against the dashboard until she was unconscious, as far as we know, and then he took her somewhere, raped her, beat her, raped her repeatedly, and then he dumped her body somewhere by the Suwannee River. Now, right now, we are not by the Suwannee. We're about to be. We're heading there. I'm retracing the steps of Kimberly Leach with a paranormal investigation uh, integrated into uh, this retracement. Live Oak, Florida, a body found hidden in a tiny roofed hog shed was positively identified today as belonging to Kimberly Leach, a 12-year-old Lake City schoolgirl who vanished eight weeks ago. Live Oak is about 22 miles northwest of Lake City, 
where a young Kimberly disappeared from school on February 9th. That is the same day that the police said a man resembling Ted Bundy left a Lake City motel. They said the man paid for his room with a stolen credit card and later found in Bundy's possession. I've been retracing her footsteps the day of her murder and I've been throwing in some investigative techniques here and there, some spirit box, some SLS. I'm heading to the possible dumping ground of her body and I plan on doing some more spirit box, some more EVP sessions, but if anything comes from this video at all, it's that I want you guys to know that there was a 12 year old girl that was robbed of her life. Um, Ted Bundy has been put to death uh, for quite a while now, I don't know the exact date, but uh, I feel that he got off easy. I feel that his death, um, I feel it deserved, his death should have been more torturous, that he was uh, electrocuted and it was over like that, and, and he made a lot of people feel a lot of pain. Today, my curiosity has me retracing her footsteps, and you guys are on that journey with me. All right, so right now we are driving to um, by the Swanee River. After he abducted this girl, beat her and raped her, um, he actually drove her miles, miles, miles away, and we are making that drive right now to where he would have dumped her body. So to be exact, he drove her over 22 miles to the destination um, where he dumped her in a hog pen. And I guess since that hog pen, most of that was destroyed. And um, from what I understand, we're not gonna find a lot of remnants of where this crime happened. But we are gonna go to pretty much the exact locations and it's starting to rain now, so worst case scenario, I might have to do some of the spirit box in my car, but I will be at uh, the last spots that Kimberly Leach was at. So we just met a few locals here and they gave us the exact coordinates of where the body was dumped and it was just right over here once upon a time um, this little pig shelter pig, pig den whatever it was hog den um, would have been over here and that's where the body was dumped so um, it's really muddy out here it's wet but I'm gonna go ahead and do a spirit box session here real quick I think this is probably the best place um, I believe that spirits are trapped where they die a majority of the time. So this this would be the place. Is the spirit of Kimberly Leach out here? I just got the chills really bad, man. Me too. What did Ted Bundy do to you, Kimberly? Tell me where you're at right now if you're here. I'm fine. It sounded like you said I'm fine. Was that you that we just heard speak? I just got chills. Can you say your killer's name, Kimberly? Can you tell us where he picked you up at? Kimberly, are you having trouble finding the light on the other side? Please 
All right, guys, we're gonna go to another location right now. I definitely heard what I felt like a, a, a younger spirit come through there, a little girl. And uh, I, I got the chills right after we started here. So um, we're not gonna stand in the exact spot where her body would have been dumped. I feel like that's very, very disrespectful. Uh, that said, we're gonna go to the next location now though. Down here, I'm walking to this bridge that people claim to be haunted, and actually people claim that Ted Bundy's initials are marked on this bridge. Now, whether Bundy did that or this is just urban legend, it's something worth mentioning. And it's also worth mentioning that a lot of people believe that Bundy may have dumped other bodies here in this area. So the bridge is was that? I just heard a voice come from like right over here. Okay guys, I'm here. I'm uh, about to go on to the bridge. Time to turn shit up a notch. Wow. It's beautiful. I just noticed guys that there's a big alligator right there. If you can see him. He's heading that way. Is there anybody's body here that has not been found? Jim. Did I just hear Jim? Is there a Jim here? Has there been crimes committed here on this bridge? Where is Ted Bundy's initials at on this bridge? Are there other victims here of Ted Bundy's? Are there bodies here that have not been found? Are there murders that have happened here that nobody is aware of? All right guys, so that's it for my investigation here by the Swanee on the Ted Bundy, uh, Kimberly Leach case here. You know, did we crack a whole lot open? No, but we did retrace 
the last places that Kimberly would have been um, the day of her murder. And we are at a place that has kind of confirmed Ted Bundy has been here. So um, that said, you know, there's so much more to the Ted Bundy murders. What are we gonna find out more than what we already know? We probably won't ever find out anything. I want you to say prayers for Kimberly's spirit. I want you to say prayers for Kimberly's family and all the other victims of Ted Bundy. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for your support. Make sure you share this video. And until next time, sweet nightmares.